Hello Internet! Uh, welcome to another video. This was requested in one of my video comments. It's about how you can handle your data files resources. Well, this is going to be for Skyrim. It also applies to Fallout 4 and other Fallouts. Uh, proper file management can save you hours. It will make life easier for everyone. If you do it properly, your mods will never conflict with other people's mods. So what I have here now is an armor that we can use as a resource. The author has provided free permissions for others to use. So I'm going to do a recolor of this and uh, show you how you can make it a standalone uh, a standalone mod. Uh, by that's going to be another video, but I'm just going to show you how to handle all the files related to this mod. So I've downloaded this, and what the armor has done, uh, author has done, it's put it to almost a vanilla folder. In in Skyrim, there is um, a folder called armor. Here it's called armors. But what I want to do is because um, because I don't want my files to conflict with anyone else's, I always have a folder under my own name. I put everything in there. As you can see, I've named each folder according to the author, unless it's my own mashups. So I've got a bunch of folders here, and this author is called Aleku. Hope I didn't butcher your name. My cat wants attention. No, I'm recording a tutorial. I can't hug you now. I'm going to make a new folder. Copy paste the name here. We're going to take the files on here because we need the meshes and put it here under his folder. That way when you're making a BSA and you browse to your meshes you can in immediately see who you used files from because you, you've got these folders and you start making your credits list and you see see everyone here so you can just open your notepad of choice and start typing same goes with textures. Now, I could use them as they are and have the textures in their original location, but what if someone else made a retexture for this armor? Their stuff would override your stuff. So what we're going to have to do is change the textures and texture parts on this armor to something else. And so we're going to take the textures now and put them in another folder. Data, textures. As you can see, I've been lazy and I haven't changed texture parts. But now I'm going to make a new folder. Aleku. I'm going to put the textures in there. Jesus, that's many. I'm actually going to use this so that it's easier to distinguish what I've been using. If you look at my house mods, let's find um, winter. If you look at data I have for this, the only only loose files I have is winter's face gen data because that needs to be uh, in this location and architecture jets because jets resources have a have a specific uh, rule that you have to keep his meshes in the folder order that he left so you can't move these meshes elsewhere. When you are using resources from other people do take note about their wishes and hopes and how, how you can use if they have any specific details about how to use their resources. For example Jet here wants Jet 4571 wants you to leave the meshes where he you can rename them, you can edit them, but it has to be under architecture yet smith stuff and whatever else he has for the folders. And everything else I have for this mod, Winter, is under Eleonora, Winter, because I have tons of mods usually, like my... I'm gonna show you. Too many things to cover, sorry, this is a bit fragmented. If you look at my broken screen artery data, and you look at my Eleonora folder here. I've got tons of pro projects like a pure and skull mini outfit winter. 
So under Winter I have armor, I have the, her body, I have the house files, miscellaneous stuff, this is a smithing book, and a weapon. So when I'm making the mod that consists of multiple parts, it's going to be easier for me to track everything instead of having a million files under meshes and not knowing wherever the fuck everything is. It's t it takes a little bit of effort, but but it makes your life so much easier. And under each of these folders, I have another folder for the author because I borrow a lot of stuff from other people. Uh, these armors are from Quick Fox. Boots from Taiwa, and so on. The body is UNP, so I didn't, I didn't put a separate folder for Demon. And under House, you find all these resource authors from Aristus to Insanity to Jokerin. And everything else is something that is vanilla that I've created. Data mesh is your name, your mod, part of the mod. This will save you a lot of headaches. The problem is when you have um, you have 100 megs of resources and you have so many textures on them, then it can get a bit confusing. But I always tend to try and change the texture parts and under textures as well. I have folders for each of the people that I'm using textures from. So now that we have unpacked that, this is covered in another video, so I'm not going to go through every single part, part of the... Excuse me, there we go. What am I changing? Corset. I actually do have a retexture of this armor. Wrong, 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 wrong. Where is it? <sighs> I'm going to copy these because um, it's different. I'm going to paste it over all of these because I have new ones. Now we choose the corset again and it should it not Hey, you piece of shit, I changed you. Copy and replace. I'm gonna open it again. <gasps> this is a very, very large mesh, it consists of tons of polygons. There we go, now it's red. See, this is my retexture. I would have to do this for every single piece, and as you can see, there's tons of items, so I'm not going to do that now. But this is what you want to do when you're using resources, because now that I have my own folder under Eleonora, no one else's resources most likely will never conflict with yours. If someone else uses same books or same basket from a modest resource and you b both have your files under the same folder and the other guy changes his basket to pink and then he up uploads it as loose files and the user is going to be like, what the fuck, suddenly my basket is pink, how the fuck? But because you have your own unique location, that can never happen. As you can see, I don't have just one data folder. I've got my gameplay, screen archery data, which is massive, massive. This is all my mods. This is my gameplay and my screen archery. So it has tons of retextures, tons of meshes. And then I have clean data. I, when, I, when I'm not using this folder, I call it clean data. It's not clean right now because I have some modding files in here. But it's basically just the vanilla... Uh, vanilla Skyrim and a bunch of mods that I can't even test mods without like uh, Skyui and the patches and what this is it, it gets 
a lot less confusing handling your mod when you're making it if it's if it's a big one that has tons of meshes and textures and it's chaotic like this this is all kind of file management that will make your life a lot easier because imagine your uh, your data folder looks like this and you're trying to find that one mesh from that one author whose name is actually Artisanix but he named his folder AX and you're gonna be like where the fuck is that painting and then you have this and you're like where the fuck is that painting of the rabbit that I wanted so when you download files don't put everything in there don't put everything into your data files only put the stuff that you're using what I have is uh, all Skyrim junk new resource new this is where I put all the stuff I've got everything downloaded into here some authors even have their own folders like Jokerine and, and uh, Oristus and I don't keep any of these resources in the data files I put them in my backups I have got this resource backed up to uh, several locations and that way it's not going to be so confusing when you're modding and you need to find that one particular thing if you have any questions regarding resources do not hesitate to ask me they, they don't call me the resource queen for nothing I have a, have a list on my website if you ever loads it's been having trouble resources new resources comprehensive list of modest resources and my resource pack these are all here you can go there here are some new stuff people have released it's got tutorials, meshes, textures, everything. You can find tons and tons of content here. Or you can just leave a comment on one of my videos. Say, Ellie, I need to find a picture of a rabbit. Can you help me? And I will, because I probably know where you can find at least a picture frame. And I can make you a picture of a rabbit if you need. So don't hesitate to call for help. That will, will happen. So that's there. And that's how you can... Uh, manage resources for, for when you're creating mods. This also applies to Fallout 4 if you hear for Fallout 4 tips it's the same thing it's the exact same folders, meshes, textures as you can see here I've got my own folder for Eleonora and I've got a few folders my armor collection is here currently I'm not using anything from anyone else except for that one small pack pack so I don't have it but as you can see I've converted some a Apache hairs it's not functional yet, it needs some waiting stuff and everything, but as, as soon as I'm using something from another author, I will make a name under their name in my own Eleonora folder. This way no one else's crap can conflict with mine. I've already said that like five times, but that's the whole point of doing this. So yeah, that's how you, that's a simple version of how you can manage your data files. I hope you found this helpful. If not, if I wasn't making any sense, don't hesitate to leave me another comment in the video video comments or send me a message saying I suck. That's just how I do it and I hope this was was uh, making any sense. If you found this helpful, that's great. And I'll see you in the next video where I'll be showing you how to actually add weapons and this armor we just added into the game. I'll see you there. Bye bye.